Hi, my name is Adam with UploadWP.com, and this is the first video of what's going to be a series uh, on how to build an e-commerce site using the very popular WooCommerce plugin. And um, we're going to use one of their premium uh, e-commerce themes called uh, the Woo Store theme. And we're going to literally build uh, this site from start to finish. Um, we're going to make a t-shirt website called WorldCupTees.com. Um, just to show you exactly how to use WooCommerce and how to build a professional, fully functional um, e-commerce website with WordPress. Um, this WooCommerce plugin and uh, this, it's really more like a more than a plugin. It's more of a, like a like an engine. It's like an e-commerce platform basically that that's free. You do have to purchase one of the themes. I believe they do have a, a couple free themes as well that go with the WooCommerce plugin. But in this case, we're going to use one of their premium themes uh, just because it looks better. Uh, it's called the Woo Store. Um, but there are a bunch of different themes that you can choose from. And basically, they'll all work the same way with uh, this WooCommerce uh, plugin or WooCommerce engine, really, is what it is. So, what I'm going to do in this first video is just kind of give you an overview of what we're going to accomplish in this series. And then, if you follow along, uh, as I release new videos with this series, you'll be able to literally build uh, a fully functional professional e-commerce style website um, for whatever products you might sell. Um, it works for physical products, digital download products, and you can even sell other people's products and affiliates. Okay, so the first step is to install the WooCommerce plugin. Uh, the WooCommerce plugin is a free plugin, so if you go to uh, your site and then go to your WordPress admin and log in, you do install this just like any other plugin. So go to plugins and add new. And then you're going to search for WooCommerce, W O O Commerce. There it is. Go ahead and search plugins. And it'll be the first one that pops up, most likely. There it is WooCommerce, Excelling, uh, Excelling e commerce. Um, you want to go ahead and install it. You can see that I've already installed it, uh, as it says here. Uh, in your case, go ahead and install and activate it. Um, and then when you activate it, it's going to ask you if you want to create uh, your WooCommerce pages right away. Just click on yes, create WooCommerce pages. It'll automatically create the, uh, your your shopping cart, your um, your checkout, and all the types of pages, your account pages that that need to be there. So just when it asks you for that option, do you want to create your Woo pages right away? Just click, click uh, yes, and it'll create them for you. So I've already I've already installed uh, this plugin WooCommerce. So I'm going to just go to my installed plugins and then activate uh, WooCommerce. And you can see when I activate this, we're going to see WooCommerce pop up in the left-hand sidebar of our WordPress admin over here. Uh, you can see WooCommerce has been installed. You're ready to start selling. And there it is right here, WooCommerce. And you can also see products has popped up. Um, <coughs> Products are are completely separate. They're just like setting up uh, like regular posts, like you do here when you do a blog post. Except products are completely separate from blog posts, which is great. So that that means you can have a you know an actual blog page on your website that's acts just as a normal regular blog would on a WordPress site. But then you can also create products, and it's as easy as just like you're creating a blog post. Um, so you can see here your product categories, add products, you can look at your existing products, you can create product tags, you can even create shipping classes and attributes for each product. <coughs> so there really is a ton of functionality. Um, but after you've installed this WooCommerce plugin, you're going to want to go ahead as step two before you even go to the WooCommerce settings right here. First, you, what you're going to want to do is uh, install your theme that you're going to use. And in this case, I've chosen to use um, the Woo Store theme. Okay, this is just one of like 10 themes that they've created specifically for this WooCommerce engine or plugin. So in this case, we're going to do the Woo Store. I like Woo Store the best just because I like the uh, uh, featured image slider here. Um, I like the featured products. I just like the way it's set up. It, it looks nice. Uh, I think it would work well for pretty much any any style product but for t-shirts it works great and that's what we're going to be making is a t-shirt style uh, website so I'm going to use this woo store theme um, no matter what which theme you actually choose um, as long as it's a, uh, a woo commerce built theme it's they're all going to pretty much work the same 
um, and this video will, will apply to you even if you choose to use another theme besides the Woo Store theme, as long as it's one of the WooCommerce themes. And uh, if you go to Woo, uh, Woo Themes and you just go to WooCommerce, you'll see right here if you click on Themes, there are a bunch of different themes that you can choose from. All right, but I'm not going to get into that. We're going to use the Woo Store theme. So as step two, after I've installed the WooCommerce plugin, I've activated it. I've chosen to go ahead and create my uh, Woo pages right away. Step two is to install my theme. So I would do that just like I would install any other theme. Um, I can either upload it right through the um, through the WordPress admin here by going to install themes and then just basically uploading the uh, clicking on this upload here and then just browse and find the zip file for the woo store theme um, or I, you can install it via FTP with uh, FileZilla or whatever FTP client you use whatever whatever way works uh, the bottom line is step two is to go ahead and install that theme so I've already done that so if I go to appearance themes and I scroll down you can see woo store has already been installed I just need to activate it so I'm going to go ahead and click act, uh, activate and after I activate it, we should see another category of settings pop up over here on the left sidebar. And there it is, the Woo Store theme settings. So now we have WooCommerce, Products, and Woo Store. Okay, so this is what we're going to do in the, in the following videos. We're going to set up um, our theme settings. So if I go to the website and refresh the page, we should see the base uh, site for or theme the Woo Store theme. So there we go. So n now the next step is we're going to have to go through and customize this uh, this Woo Store theme. Set it all up with PayPal and every you know enter our products or create our product categories. And we're going to do that literally from start to finish in this series. So stay tuned um, and uh, we will uh, show you how to build a professional. A fully functional e-commerce uh, site using WordPress and the WooCommerce uh, plugin. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com and we'll see you in the next video.